Hey everybody, Swab here. Today we're going to be looking at uh, a game supplement for Shadows of Brimstone. Just a quick little overview of the deck cards. The reason for this is it just came out with Gen Con 2023, available to order through uh, Flying Frog's uh, web store. And this is the first new game supplement that wasn't first announced or teased during their um, Shadows of Brimstone Adventures Kickstarter. So this is a completely new pack, so anybody who was in that Kickstarter won't be getting this. They have to order it through the site. Uh, so it's kind of the newest of the new content. So I thought I'd take a quick peek at it. It's specifically a Norselands adventure, uh, though a lot of the cards you could use separately without going through the adventure mode, obviously. Um, and some of them, you could use this adventure uh, in any world, but it is a little bit more Norse-themed. So let's take a quick peek at it. Here's the contents of the car of the, the deck. It's going to have the uh, the biggest reason to buy the pack, which is the adventure card into the wild. It's going to have four gear cards, and it's going to have four darkness cards, and six encounters. And those Norseland encounters are specifically tied to the adventure into the wild. So into the wild, uh, this is going to add a lot of more. Uh, a little bit more challenge uh, to your game playing. So this is someone who's sort of useful for a higher level posse or people who have gone through the, the core box of uh, Gates of Valhalla and want to add something in as a little bit of extra. So Into the Wild, it's added uh, as an adventure, it's added to any mission. Uh, ideally the Norselands missions, but it could be anywhere. Uh, and it's going to add a bit more challenge for you. So. One of the big things it's going to do is whenever you're drawing an encounter, you're going to draw another encounter on top of that. And it's going to be one of the specific ones with the Into the Wild tag. And we're going to look at those in a little bit because they come in this uh, game supplement. It's also going to add a bit more race down the depth track and a little bit of a maybe bonus of a, drawing a scavenge card when you do that. But it is going to pay you off with a little bit of extra loot. So there's some pros and some cons. Of course, you got the adventure back. Take the, quickly take a look at the items or the gears. Or sorry, the gear. Uh, there's two of these, the crack shield. It's a handy way to prevent some wounds. And of course you get two of those in the pack. You get one rusted helm, rusted helm. Uh, again, these are all Norse themed, but they could be thrown in anywhere, right? And this is going to help with canceling a hit. And the Forsaken Hammer, and it's going to help us cancel Darkness or Growing Dread cards. So, easily mixed into your standard gear deck if you want, but they are kind of Norse themed, so you might want to keep them separate, depending on how you build your decks. In the Darkness cards, we're going to get two of these, and it has great art on it. Got some Western Posse. Uh, heroes along with some Norse heroes and this is going to be causing quite a bit of sanity or wound damage to you. Uh, this is quite a, a vicious darkness card and there's of course two of them in there. I love the art on this one as well. This is the art that comes, that's for the front of the supplement and this one is going to be keeping an eye on your map deck discard pile because it's going to impact uh, you with this, though so not a terrible card if you didn't have investigated too far, but if you did a huge labyrinth in the map, uh, you're going to not enjoy this card whatsoever. And the Descent into Chaos Darkness card is going to be staying in play, and at the end of every turn if a hero is by themselves on a map tile, they're going to take a corruption point. So this kind of forces you guys to stay together and not explore too fast or too spread out. Now onto the bulk of the supplement, which is the encounters. And they all have the Norse lands encounters back, but of course you could put them into anything if you really wanted to. And this is going... I'm going to look at a couple of them with you. Uh, as you see, you can see you get six, but we won't look at all of them. So this Norse lands encounter um, gives you some XP if you roll well, and it's not going to let you kind of pick your favorite threat card. Um, so I like that one. Too Quiet is kind of a fun one in that if you fail, you're going to take some horror hits because the silence rattles your mind. And if 
half of the heroes fail, then we're going to have an ambush attack. Untold Exploration, you got a chance at getting something really good. You're going to be rolling a d8 and see what happens. Obviously, lower rolls are worse, and then if you roll an 8, you're going to be able to draw a loot card. So, uh, I like this one. This is probably my favorite one in the pack. Um, I skipped over Unforeseen Dread, but here it is. You want to read it? Fresh Footsteps. I really like this one. Uh, I love the flavor of this. As you round the bend, you stop cold. Footprints litter the ground ahead. Someone else is out here with you. Could they be following you? Or are you following them? There's something familiar about these tracks. And I really like the success, getting your 25 XP, but moving you back on the depth track uh, is kind of cool. And then the failure, the failure is actually kind of the one I think is a great one, is that if you fail, then you're going to go forward on the depth track because you realize that you've been these are your own footprints and you've been going in circles, you've been wasting time. So this is probably my favorite of all the encounters in here. And then this one is kind of an interesting one as well, unstable footing. And with this one, not a big deal if you're successful. However, if you fail, you're going to fall into the dark. If more than half of the heroes fail the test. And you are going to draw a map card and place that tile not attached to any other map. So you're going to fall onto that. All the exits are open. You don't have to place an exploration token. On. It's just kind of going to change exactly change the map entirely where you are, where you're going. So kind of a neat thing. So I hope that gives you kind of a quick overview of what's in this pack. Definitely a card pack to pull out if you uh, want to add to your Norse lands uh, Gates of Valhalla box. That would be the, the main group this is for, for sure. Especially those who have finished a, a bunch of the missions and want something a bit more challenge added to it. Um, a couple of these cards are still, I think, useful or fun if you want to mix things in. You know, if you don't mind mixing in a Norse lands encounter with a different encounter set. Um, I think that the gear is easily mixed into anything, uh, obviously. Uh, the darkness cards are also pretty easy to mix in with anything. So you could mix this with anything, as all Shadows of Brimstone, but definitely benefits the Norse lands, and I think it's a quite a um, bit more challenge to it for sure, which is that little bit of extra benefit with that loot card uh, that makes it tempting to add this adventure to your games. That's all for this time. Have a good one. I'll talk again soon. Take care.